Welcome back to Fred's Appliance Academy, everybody. Today we're putting this evaporator through a pressure test. As you can see on screen, we're dealing with high pressures and we advise that you do not attempt to recreate this in any way. As you can see on the top of the screen, we have fitted the evaporator with three separate compression fittings. These compression fittings have been covered in a very thick leak detection solution and any leaks will create bubbles and be very obvious to the eye. To begin this test, we start with 200 PSI, or 200 pounds per square inch. Next, we slightly increase the pressure to 275 PSI. No signs of leaking yet as we increase the pressure to 325 PSI. Further increasing the PSI to 400, I admit I didn't think the evaporator would withstand this amount of pressure. Now getting nervous, I quickly turn it up to 450 PSI. No leaks in the evaporator and the compression fittings are holding strong. Becoming even more nervous, I pull the tank closer to me and increase the pressure to 475 PSI. In a final attempt to create failure, I increase the pressure to 500 PSI. With no leaking or rupture at this point, I abort the test to avoid catastrophic failure. I safely relieve the pressure in the system and plan to return with a thicker blast shield. 